What's going on guys, Fed and Louie here, bring guys a brand new video, we're gonna be doing a myth fade on one of my boys, so stay tuned. We started off by saturating the hair and combing everything in place. Also, we separated the top from the side. It's always best to create your silhouette and make sure the hair is nice and neat before you even start cutting. Now that we're done separating the top from the sides, we can move on to our anesthesia outliners and create our first guideline. Remember, you always want to make sure you contour this guideline to their head shape. Now that we're done bodying them out, we're moving on to our clipper over comb and we're debulking the sides, making sure we have a neat canvas to start on them. This is also gonna help me leave weight on the sides so the top can blend into the sides better. I always like to have the hair slightly damp so it's easier to pick up with the comb. Also, you wanna make sure you pick up the hair with the comb at a certain degree and either go horizontally if you're debulking or go vertically if you're blending. Now that we're done bodying them out and creating our silhouette, we can move on to the no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. Remember, you want to make this guideline about an inch thick so you can spread the blend. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Also, if you don't mind, subscribe to my Instagram. It's LouieTDL, L-U-I-E-T-D-L. Remember to use the lever all the way closed and midway to help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. Remember, we're going to use this same guard and the lever to soften up this line and get it ready for the half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the one guard, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes after you're done with the half guard, there's still a faint line, so using your no guard all the way open and using the raking technique will help. If you're unfamiliar with the raking technique, that's when you tilt your blade at a 75 to 90 degree angle to use the length of the teeth to fade. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, we're creating our fourth guideline and we're also flicking out right when we reach the top of the silhouette. Flicking out will help us blend into the next guard. Also, we're going to use the lever to soften up this line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Again, sometimes there's still a faint line after using the one and a half guard, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will help.
Moving on to the three guard all the way open, this is gonna help us blend into the top of the silhouette. We're also gonna be flicking out with this and this is gonna prepare us for our flip clipper over comb. Now that we're done with our three guard all the way open, we can switch over to our clipper over cone and finish the silhouette. If you're new to the clipper over comb, you want to make sure you go very slow and take your time. You don't want to rush anything, especially when you're new to it. In my earlier years when I was first learning clipper over comb, the hardest thing was picking up the hair. So the solution to this could be dapping the hair just a little bit so the hair is a little bit heavier and the comb glide right through it. Now I'm going back to my previous guards detailing the fade as much as possible. Moving on to the C cup, we're going to use our Anis T outliners to make it as crispy as possible. I always start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch. I slowly feed the hair into the trimmer and make sure it's cut. Now we're moving on to the front line. Usually I debulk with the one guard all the way open, but the hair was already low, so I just went in with my anesthesi outliners and started off in the middle and worked our way to the sides. Every time I line up, I slowly feed the trimmer into the hair, making sure it cuts every bit. Also, when doing someone's mustache, you want to make sure you don't press as hard because the teeth of the trimmer could bite their lip. Sometimes there's flyaway hairs near the vertical bar, so freehanding it is best. Moving on to the back of the head, we're starting off with our no guard all the way open and we're closing the lever all the way, continuing to blend our initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We are nearing the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here. And the back area is usually more dense and the occipital bone is in the way so you want to make sure you're very careful and detail as much as possible.
Now that we're done using our one guard, we can move on to the two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. Remember, we're going to use the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our one and a half guard and erase the line completely. As you can see, I am picking near the occipital bone as much as possible. Now I'm moving on to our 3 guard all the way open and we're flicking out as much as I can. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. I also try my best to reply to all comments, so I will reply. As you can see, we went back to our one and a half guard and we detailed as much as possible. Now we're going to saturate the hair and prep it for our shear work. Once I grab a piece of hair and show them what length we want to cut and we both agree on it, then make that same guideline around the whole head and connect it to the sides. Now that we're done with our shear work, we're going to move on to our Turkish Razor and Derby Premium Blades and we're going to make them as crispy as possible. Before you use the blade, you always want to make sure you apply shave gel and also when you're using the razor, you want to keep it at a 45 degree angle while you're stretching the skin as much as possible. What's going on guys, Fed and Louis here, bring guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a myth fed on one of my boys, so stay tuned.
We're going to be starting off by debulking the sides with the three guard all the way open. Remember to feed the hair into the clipper using your comb. Now that we're done debulking the sides, we can move on to our anis T outliners and create our first guideline. You also want to make sure you're contouring this guideline to their head shape. Now that we're done balding them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make sure you make this guideline about an inch thick so you can spread the blend. Remember to use the lever all the way closed and midway to help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're going to use this same guard and the lever to soften up the line and get it ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to the half guard and erase the line completely. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Moving on to the two guard all the way open, we're going to be creating our fourth guideline and getting it ready for the one and a half guard. Now that we're done softening up the line, we can move on to the one and a half guard and erase the line completely. Sometimes after you're done using the one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will help. Now switching over to the three guard all the way open and we're using our comb to feed the hair into the clipper. Now that we're done going through all our guards, we're going to switch over to our clipper of a comb method and debulk the sides. Remember when the cutting blade is horizontal, I'm debulking and when the cutting blade is vertical, I'm blending. Moving on to the C cups, we're using the Anis T outliners to make them as crispy as possible. I always start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch. You also want to make sure you go slow enough that the hair feeds into the trimmer.
Now I'm going back to the fade with the three guard all the way open and making sure the fade flows into the clipper over comb. Moving on to the back, we're using our no guard all the way open and we're creating our second guideline. Remember that using the lever midway and all the way closed will help you erase that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to the one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We are nearing the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Now we're using the two guard all the way open, creating our fourth guideline, getting it ready for the one and a half guard. We are near the calic area so we're going to use our clipper of a comb to debulk. You also want to make sure you leave a decent amount of weight near the calic area so the hair lays down. Here I'm making sure the fade is smooth with the three guard all the way open blending into the clipper of a comb.
Now that we're done saturating the hair, we could go ahead and comb everything in place and create our first guideline using our shears through the middle of his head. As you can see, we're grabbing his true length and creating our first guideline at the top of the capitis. We're then going to connect the guideline and match it to the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Moving on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades, we're going to make them as crispy as possible. We're also going to be doing his eyebrows. When using the razor, you want to make sure it's at a 45 degree angle and that you're stretching the skin as much as possible. 